So now that we've had an introduction to Flexbox in the last video, where we learned all about this parent-child relationship, establishing a parent container element and its child items, we can now go ahead and look at all the properties that we can use with a Flex container. So from where we left off, I'm gonna go back into VS Code here, and I'm gonna get rid of that second div, resave, and we can see the DOM is updated here. And in the rule for the parent element, Instead of inline flex, we're just going to do display flex. And the first property which I want to talk about, which is used on a flex container, is called flex direction. So let's actually start out by commenting out display flex on the container. And let's take a look at our boxes here. And we can see that by default, they behave as block level elements. Now when we enable display flex, we can see that they go into this row formation here. So. What this means is that the default flex direction is row. So if I come in here into the parent rule and I create a flex direction property and I give it a value of row and then we save, we see it's exactly the same. I could also come into flex direction and I could give it a value of column. And now when I save, we see that the boxes are in a column formation. And those are the two basic values we have to use with flex direction. We have row, which is the default, and we have column. So let's go into this a little bit further. Let's set flex direction back to row. And here again, we see our boxes lined up in a row. Now, a basic fundamental concept when using Flexbox is the concept of a main axis and the concept of a cross axis. And these are very important to understand because everything that follows is gonna be related to whether we're talking about a main axis or a cross axis. So since flex direction is a row, our main axis goes across like this. And we can imagine in our minds that the cross axis would go like this, perpendicular to this row. So when we set flex direction to row, the main axis goes horizontally and the cross axis would go vertically. If however, we set flex direction to column, now the main axis here goes from top to bottom vertically. In this case, the cross axis would be going horizontally. Now, there are two other possibilities for flex direction. And these are really more like sub possibilities because row and column are the primary ones that you're gonna use. But the other two are row reverse and column reverse. So let's take a look at these. In order to see these in action, let's give some text content to our child divs here. So we'll just say one, two, and three, and now let's save, and we can see that the boxes have this new text content. And this is just gonna allow us to see how they reverse themselves. So since we have flex direction currently set to column, let's start with that one. Instead of column, let's give it column reverse. Now let's save and take a look at our boxes. And here we can see that we now have one, two, three coming up from the bottom. So the starting point of this column has reversed itself. And now let's do the same for row. Let's start off simply with row. We'll save and we see one, two, three, starting here from the left. So let's do row reverse, save. And now we can see that that main axis is starting here from the right, one, two, three. Just as an example, to show you one way that this change in flex direction can be useful, let's imagine that we wanted to do a media query where at a certain screen size, we switch from a row layout to a column layout. So let's come back into the parent. Let's get rid of row reverse. We'll just simply do row. We'll save it. And then let's come down here and let's do a simple media query. So we'll say at media. And here we'll just do max width, let's say 1200 pixels. So once the screen is less than 1200 pixels wide, for that parent rule, here we can change the flex direction to column. So let's try that out. As we reduce the width of the viewport, once we get below 1200 pixels here, you can see it's switched to column. So by using flex direction in this way, we can change our layout in a media query very easily.